Today's episode is less about the adventure of living in a truck camper and more about the daily chores that you still have with this lifestyle. We also show you what we go through when we look for a dispersed camping spot. That's closed. That was our game plan was to go up that road. Howdy y'all. We're still at Telluride this morning. We're going to be leaving this area, heading more west. Probably going to end up in Utah today. But before we start our journey, Kelly's trying to get a quick breakfast going because today's going to be an errand day. we got a lot to do because we're out of food. We have a ton of dirty clothes. There's a lot we got to take care of. So I'm going to make some breakfast. I'm making something really quick. This is pretty much if you go to Starbucks, you know about their spinach wrap with sun-dried tomatoes, spinach, we're gonna do feta cheese and a tortilla. I made it a couple times before, it turns out pretty good. So it should be quick and easy and delicious. And I can vouch, it's pretty darn good. Kelly has gone above and beyond with this little dish. First line of business is groceries. We are out of food. I made my list on the way here, but I need to check and see if I have a couple of things. So I'm gonna get in the camper and double check that before we go in there. Elbow pasta. Elbow pasta. So I did put an onion on there. You got one onion. That's it? You had everything else? Yep. Awesome. The next task for today is going to be laundry. So now I've got to find a laundry mat. There's a several in this town. So I think we'll be able to find one. Kelly already found a laundry mat and it's only two minutes from the grocery store. That's what I'm talking about. We've been in some places like Tucson, Arizona, where we would go grocery shopping in one place and they have to drive 20 minutes away to go to a laundry mat. Yeah, this is going to be a big laundry day. Sometimes we have little laundry days where we just do this. But today, we're doing bedding too.
And now we wait and we have the luxury of just waiting in our camper. Pretty nice, uptown high ramp for sure. <laughs> Whenever we switch the load over to dry, we'll come back and let you know how it's going. We had a mistake happen. One of the doors didn't shut on the dryer, so we have another, what, 15 minutes? 15 minutes on the sheets. That was the last load. So I've got towels and our other clothes and I'm gonna fold those right here on our bed. It's so nice. I can just fold them right here and then put them up. Man, that feels like that took a lot longer than normal. Well, it's only 2.30. It's not too bad. Not too bad. I mean, it always takes at least an hour, hour and a half. Now that that's over, what's next? Start trying to find camp. We did some research last night over dinner, trying to figure out where we're going. Use our Onyx off-road maps, trying to find some public land to camp on, and then use Google Maps to keep a pin. And it looks like we're going somewhere there. Two hours and 13 minutes. Let's get this journey started, y'all. I think we have a preliminary idea of where we're going. We're gonna be going to that mountain right up over there. just got into Utah and we were talking about gas prices when we were in Telluride gas was 450 something it's 375 here for diesel 375 when we are in Monticello Utah and I forgot to mention that we did laundry and got groceries in Cortez Colorado cute little town this is a cute little town as well this is one of those moments when we weren't hundred percent sure where we were heading and then we didn't look on how to pronounce the location we're going. So we saw a sign for the National Forest. We got two guesses. We could be wrong on both of them, but what, what were you saying, honey? I'm thinking it's the Manti LaSalle National Forest. It's closed. That's closed. That was our game plan was to go up that road. We've never really had this happen with y'all watching. Now we got to reassess where we're going. Kind of kicking myself on the foot because I told Kelly we wouldn't get any diesel in Monticello because uh, we had plenty. She said, well, we don't know how long we're going to be driving around until we find something. Well, guess what? She was right. Did you just say you're going to be kicking yourself in the foot? Is that how it goes? <laughs> no, I mean, is it face? Kicking myself in the no, face. No, I think, I don't know. I think it's just kicking yourself. Kicking yourself. Okay. That road you were talking about should be right across here. Uh, there's a gate over it. Oh. There's a wooden post right. right over your little road. It looks like you can keep going that way. But yeah, but it's kind of tight. This way. That's where we came from. Oh. It feels good out here. That feels it's really hot. good. That's beautiful. There's a fire ring right here. I will have to say one thing, this spot is very gorgeous. Not too shabby, huh? As you can tell, we've decided to settle for this location. I mean, look at that view. And I kind of want to go down here and check out this pond real quick. It's actually being fed by a spring. Usually I get a tripod so I can get some cool shots, but y'all, I just, I can't stop walking right now. I didn't even tell Kelly what I was doing. This has been the highlight of my day right here.
Y'all, I think this is the end of the road. It's getting kind of thick. But was that not such a gorgeous walk through all those flowers? This is so pretty. I mean, breathtaking. I think Kelly's probably done showering by now. So Kelly was done showering, but I got a shower now and she's about to cook something delicious because we're really, really hungry. So I've never made this before. I'm trying to do some different stuff because I'm kind of tired of the same old thing. You know, when you get in that rut, you keep cooking the same thing over and over. So this is a pasta dish. We've got some chicken that I'm gonna season and we're gonna cook in my skillet here. And then we're gonna use a bow tie pasta. And we've got some grape tomatoes, you know me like that. And we've got some pesto and garlic. And I've gotta have my Olipop because I'm thirsty and it's so good. We got a bunch of new fun different drinks. We kind of have, well, since we were in New Mexico, we had some hard water. And so the drinking of the hard water was not very good. So we've been really thirsty again. But Colorado had really good water. We filled up with water somewhere. I forgot where we were. Anyways, it turned out really good too. This tastes really good, by the way. Prickly pear. Read and see what it's for. I don't know if it's a probiotic or if it's a... So it's a probiotic. It's got, pretty dang good. It's got some bite to it. It's got like a little mm. spice bite. Mm -hmm. It you was yours trade? and you're like, no, I don't want to trade. Uh, well, you said mine was better. I thought that was you Yeah, it was better. <laughs> now I'm just kind of digging this. Oh, it makes funny. me think of uh, Big Ben, Texas or Terlingua or something. You're Since we're doing the grape tomatoes, I am going to see if we can get, they're organic. It still probably has pesticides on it, but it is probably organic pesticides. These I've already opened, so I've already rinsed those off, but I like to let them soak in that water for a little bit. It's just alkaline water. It really works, y'all. Yeah. The water will turn a brown color after a few seconds. So what do we have on the chicken? Oh yeah, paprika, salt, and pepper. And we're just gonna, I cut them into little cutlets and we're just gonna cook them on that until they're done. And I'm gonna cut up some of these tomatoes. All right, we're just gonna slide these puppies in half. I guess we need this vent on. And on. There it is. Oh, and by the way, we have phone service up here. A little bit. Not your, your mom texted you. Later. Kathy, if you're watching this, we just received a text from you. If you're watching this. I know Kathy's watching this. All right, uh, garlic. All right, so we're going to roast all this in the oven. I'm going to do some more tomatoes, though. All right, we're going to pop these in the oven. I did salt, pepper, and olive oil. I just realized I need to get my water boiling. So I'm gonna move that over there and get the water here. I will have to admit the only thing I do not like about the stovetop is that you're probably gonna say, okay, Kelly, that water is not boiling yet, but I guarantee you it will not get past that point. Maybe if I covered it. But I'm gonna go ahead and dunk these in there because it works anyway. So I'm only gonna probably do half the box or I don't know, I'll just do the whole box. Yeah, we'll just see how it yeah. goes. <laughs> <laughs> and this says um 11 to 13 minutes we'll go for 11. the chicken turned out really beautiful yeah it looks good i'm just letting it rest and then we'll slice it really thin wow <laughs> that's hot hello <laughs> <laughs> okay so while we're waiting on these noodles they're gonna take quite a bit of time but this skillet is still kind of warm i'm not gonna turn it on yet but i'm gonna use the same skillet that i cooked the chicken in and i'm going to add in some, hold on, let me get all some of this stuff up. You want to keep some of the brown bits, but I'm going to get rid of these few brown bits. All right, so we're going to add some heavy cream. I'll just seal it back here. And then we're going to add some pesto. And this is my favorite brand of pesto, by the way. If y'all are looking for a good brand, this is a good one. I'm just going to do really like three spoonfuls to start out. See what that looks like. Let me see if I got a better shot of that pesto. You're gonna put the lid on it? Yeah. That's the brand. There is really a big difference between different brands of pesto. Oh yeah. It's no playing game y'all. All right, so I think that is enough pesto. I'm just kind of stirring it all together here. And I'm gonna go ahead and bring, turn this burner on cause it is off and put it on medium. I'm gonna shred some Parmesan cheese. This is gonna go in the sauce. I'm gonna go ahead and slice this chicken up. Tomatoes and garlic are good, done good. It smells so good. Man, this looks Ooh. so good. God, I can't get over that garlic. 
Kelly has a love addiction with garlic. I don't quite understand it, but I do understand it. What am I talking about? I know why we like garlic. I'm trying to keep them vampires away. Yep, it boils a lot quicker if I cover it. I tried it. I'm gonna add in that Parmesan cheese that I shredded. And I'm gonna let that gently melt. Oh, there's the time to toss it. I'm gonna take the noodles and I'm gonna just kind of scoop them out into my sauce I have over here. And I have the burner still on with the sauce. And I'm just doing a little bit at a time until it pretty much is all coated, every noodle coated with the sauce, which looks like we're about there. We're just gonna put these tomatoes in here. That looks yummy. I'm having flashbacks to eating at a fine dining Italian restaurant know, right now. right? That's what it smells like right now. I don't know what's happening, but it's it's happening nicely. Where's right. the bread at? We didn't get any bread. <laughs> Sorry, you got hey. bread. The pasta is bread. It looks pretty though, I'll tell you that. Oh, it smells pretty. This is such a beautiful dish. Did you want any extra parm? Please. Freshly cracked pepper. We'll get that off now. Mm, I'm gonna have a new favorite dish. This is so good. And even though it's pasta, it's kind of light on mm -hmm. It's not real heavy, like a creamy sauce. I thought that's what you were going with, with that heavy cream. I mean, I'm the happiest guy alive right now. <laughs> that is hands down one of my new favorite dishes by Kelly. It was phenomenal. Phenomenal. What? What's going on over here? <laughs> Who is this? I'm you. Oh. No, we we're just admiring how beautiful this view is. I mean, it's just off. so pretty right now. I don't know, we rolled up the awning. We put the awning out because the sun was beating down on us and it oh, was, it was really hot, hot out there. Yeah. And we put the awning out to make it cooler. But man, that is a gorgeous view. Mm -hmm. We're gonna be here, I guess, one extra day tomorrow. Yeah, we'll be here tomorrow and then we'll leave and continue on our journey. So, we'll catch you on the other. See ya.